Sarcoidosis is a systemic, non-caseating, granulomatous condition. Patients classically suffer with mediastinal hyalur lymphadenopathy, and this can be detected on a chest x-ray in 90% of affected individuals. The condition is more common in Afro-Caribbeans. 20 to 40% of affected individuals are asymptomatic. It's more common in women. And the etiology of this condition is still not fully understood. The condition can lead to a variety of problems around the body. The blood levels of calcium can be high. Patients can develop cystic changes in the fingers uh, affecting the bones. They can have a temperature or malaise. They can develop inflammation in the parotid gland. They can develop uveitis or keratoconjunctivitis sicca. They can develop a cough or shortness of breath. Some develop pulmonary fibrosis, which is also called honeycomb lung. Here we see the classic mediastinal lymphadenopathy. They can also develop lymphadenopathy elsewhere, however, for example, the axillae in the neck and in the groins. Hepatosplenomegaly can occur, enlargement of the liver and the spleen. Affected patients can get problems with abnormal sensations and problems with peripheral neuropathy uh, in that classic glove and stocking distribution affecting the hands and the feet. They can develop pains in the joints, arthralgia, classically in the knees and in the ankles. Here we see erythema nodosum, skin change that can sometimes occur in the pretibial region. And finally, patients can sometimes have elevated calcium levels in a urine sample. So there we see the classic pattern that's observed with this condition sarcoidosis.